Zero Downtime Migration, or ZDM, is our preferred tool when we are migrating Linux databases into the cloud. It works by building a standby database in OCI. It keeps the two databases in sync via regular redo apply until you perform a regular data guide switch over and you're then migrated into the cloud. Let's see how it works. Now, out of these keywords that describe ZDM, let me highlight the last one. ZDM is free. You don't have to pay anything to use the tool. Let's go into, the, uh, into a little more details and look at the prerequisites. Obviously, you must have a source database that you can migrate into the cloud. The source database can be running on premises, but it's also supported to have it running in the OCI Classic or it can actually be another OCI database that you want to migrate. ZDM works on any database from 11.204 or newer. The target release that you're migrating into has to be the same. You cannot change the version of the database when you do the migration. The only supported platform is Linux, and you can target any of the database cloud services. If the database is Enterprise Edition, we can do a zero downtime approach using DataGuard. But with Standard Edition, you don't have a license for, gate, for, for DataGuard, so it'll be an offline approach where we use DataPump. You can migrate any architecture, and the architecture will, will be the same when you migrate the database. So a non-CDB database will be migrated into another non-CDB database, and the same with CDB databases. Single instance databases can be migrated into a RAG database or you can keep it as a single instance. But if you, if you already have a RAG database or a one node, you have to migrate it into a RAG database. The source database can be encrypted or not, it doesn't make a difference. But when the database is migrated into OCI, it will be encrypted using TDE tablespace encryption. And also, when the database is shipped from the source system to object store and from object store to the target database, it's encrypted. So the database is secured using encryption all the way. Let's look a little about network connectivity. In the upper left corner, you have to set the M host. In the upper right corner, you have the object store. In the bottom, you have the two database hosts. Set the M must be able to communicate with the two database hosts. It does so via SSH, so port 22 has to be open. Also, the two database hosts must be able to reach OCI object storage to either send the backup or to receive the backup of the database. 
And finally, you have to have SQL net connectivity between the two database hosts. This is needed in order to enable redo apply. Now note the dotted line from the target database back to the source system. You only need this if you want to be able to have the option of falling back to your source system after you have migrated into the cloud.